What's up guys, I'm Ken with the Shop Mini RC and today I am at USTE at the Hard Park booth and we've got Chad with Hard Park. This is the man right here and making it all happen, the man, the myth, the legend and he's gonna show us some of the cool stuff they do and some stuff they've got coming. All right, Chad, why don't you show me some of this awesome stuff you guys have going on. Tell uh, the new guy that's never heard of Hard Park what you're about. Uh, we are about performance over everything. We like to try to build the lightest weight, best performing, robustly built crawlers on the market. So what we have new to show you guys, uh, we'll start small, then we'll go to the big stuff. What we have is a new version of our Dementor, our most popular, most capable chassis. This time, stylized. This is the V-Dub, Volkswagen inspired. It's the same performance you guys have all come to love and know with a little bit of restylized on top. Even has a set of matching Volkswagen inspired wheels to go along with. Oh man, so, more wheel options. So, I love it. Yep, you can look for these hitting the site here in the next week or so. Coming up next, is a, we're trying to make a new class of crawler for the 124 scale. Sporty stuff. So what we have here is our new DS kit. This is our Dementor chassis. Yet again, all the same suspension geometry and good behaving uh, performance characteristics you all have come to know and love. But this one, topless, and has these awesome 1.8 inch crush lock wheels you all have seen. And oh, yes, yeah, these, these, these are, uh, they're making the rounds on some of the testers and people are like, where do I get them? Yep. And, and now you know. And they are coming soon. We have multiple wheel faces and multiple materials coming. Like you guys know, they will be available in aluminum and carbon fiber. And they will be able to tuck in these weight hangers. Look at all that tungsten, guys. This will put over 40 grams of weight below the center line of your axle. And it's tunable. Very much so. You can pop them in, pop them out. When you're going to get them from us, you're going to get them just like this. I have put this rig on the scales, and the weight bias is about 70% on the front, 30 on the back, with the battery on the front. We're talking comp stuff, not scales. Wait, 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 wait. Show me that again. The battery on the front. Oh, I forgot to mention the battery on the front. You've seen this before from a few other guys. This is our rendition of it. This is designed to work with the Little Guy Racing Product Super 8 axles. It'll lay your servo down nice and low. It'll put the motor side down so all that weight is as low as it'll possibly get. It is going to require some trimming, some grinding. This is not one of those kits you're going to expect to throw everything together. You're going to have to build it, work for it. But trust me, guys, at the end, the performance is going to be worth all your effort. Our weight hangers will work with the Samix brass knuckles that we use for the, our initial weight hangers that we produce. So you can see all that weight right there. And uh, they, that looks great. And they tuck in beautifully inside those wheels with either our standard hubs or the plus two hubs. So all the current hubs that we already sell and offer will fit our new, new line of wheels. This kit will come with chassis a single body post for the front cross member for the rear you can take any cab any body you want you're gonna have to cut it you're gonna have to hack it and it's gonna look awesome when you set it down on there wish i had the body here to put on there to show you everybody um we have put the team blue groove volkswagen body on this looks amazing the pro line power wagon cut the cab off of it looks awesome on there electronics Servo tape to the side. BC on one side. Your ESC on the other. And then for those of you running our transmission. What is that? For, yep. For those of you running our DW1 transmission, we're also going to offer a receiver shelf for it. For, the, for those of you that run the micro, uh, was it the F2, FS2A receiver? Did I say that right? I believe so. Yeah. The F2SA receivers for the Flash Guy GT5 tuck in beautifully right there. Oh, that's clean. That is it's so clean. Even with the BEC, it's clean. And then uh, going back to the front of the vehicle, all of our battery on axle mounts come with the titanium steering links for the front. 
love the twist. It's just this little, I mean, I know it's functional, but it also, it's different. You know, it's got this awesome little twist in there. It is, I do each one of those by hand. Wow, that's amazing. And then moving on to the next thing we have coming out soon is for you hard body guys. This is our flat goblin. You'll notice it's missing the rear shock towers entirely. This way you can get all the performance out of an aftermarket chassis without having to lose the scale aspect of putting the shock towers through the bed of your truck. So this is a nice cantilever suspension. Ah, that looks familiar for anybody that knows. Yeah, those of you who keep up have probably seen this before. Rides on bearings, stock length shocks, and it's progressive. The further the suspension compresses, the more spring rate you get. But it's super sensitive, super smooth. That's a beautiful setup. And you should be able to tuck that rod underneath your hard body. Still keep all the scale goodies in your bed. No shock towers coming through. But yet, it's everything else you love about the Goblin already. Same suspension geometry, same link mounting points, same front shock towers, but flat in the back. Awesome. Show me the big guy. Okay, yeah, a few of you guys have been waiting on this. We are branching out from the 124 scale a little bit with the UTB18 platform. This is what I like to call the DXL. Wide screen. This is styled after our Dementor, but with all the shock mounting points one could ever want, whether you're going to leave it stock wheel base or you're gonna stretch this thing out, this kit will come with carbon fiber rails, our hex pattern roof, cross member. It's got an electronics mount in the cab that you can't see because of all my electronics, and a flat bottom skid. Ooh, buddy. So we're, we're abandoning the factory skid on this one and going with our, our print, nice and flat. Everything features threaded inserts, so you're not screwing into a print. Everything's got a brass M3 threaded insert already in it from the back. Man, that, so look, got, that makes me want one of these guys. Yeah, it does. I hope so, that's what I'm hoping for. It's been a great performer, and they will also be on the website here later this week, early next week. All right, why don't you show me the cream of the crop, the flagship, the thing that is just, it's insane. Well, show me your insane product here. Okay, these are our hard park wheels. Um, they have, they're, they're so tunable, adjustable, customizable, it is insane. We offer all of our wheel face designs, which we have 12, 50, I don't even know how many we have. It's too many in titanium and carbon fiber, along with the beauty rings. As a lot of you do know, you can take any wheel face, you can stack them, you can mix them, you can match them, you can clock them, you can rotate them. Why don't you hold that up for me? Yeah, here, here's just a random, let me get some screw holes lined up. So you can take any wheel face you got. You can stack <laughs> them on top of each other. You can flip them any direction you want. Separate them? Man, isn't that wild? And if you don't want to combine two rings, we have a beauty ring, which is just a nice little beadlock ring, just to add a little extra dimension to your wheel. Here again, you can turn them around. That's amazing. All right guys, so I hope you learned something new today with Chad and all the parts they offer. You have got to check them out. Go to the website, hardparkcrawlers.com. Hardparkrc.com. Hardparkrc.com, check it out. He's on Facebook, they have a Hard Park group. Yes, we have a Hard Park Crawlers fan page on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Nice. Be nice. sure to come see us in May at Beat the Creek. We're going to be there. Hopefully, see you there. Mm -hmm.